Hello, hello, welcome back to Portugal and to a new project, or I should say a new experiment. We recently finished plastering the kitchen, or this room that will be the kitchen. Actually, I guess I'm standing in the dining area at the moment. And the next step on the list is to get some lime wash on the walls. Now, this is something that we have done before. We've lime washed our utility room and the small downstairs bathroom as well. But the way that we're going to do it today is a little bit different. And so we've not done it before. We're going to do a bit of an experiment, see how it goes. And uh, hopefully, all being well, get the rest of this room painted over the next few days. Well, good morning. Good morning. Are you ready for some science and experimentation? <laughs> Maybe. Can you explain to the lovely people what it is we're experimenting with, why we're experimenting with it, and how we will be experimenting with it? Yes. Several people in the comments asked why we didn't use a hot lime wash when we did the lime washing in the other rooms. And that was primarily because I was under the impression previously that hot lime wash is really just for external use. But turns out you can do it internally and it gives a better finish and you have to put less coats on. This sounds excellent. It does sound excellent. The caveat to that is it has to be freshly mixed, i.e. hot mixed, as you use it. So you can't, when we were doing the other way, we were doing a massive amount, mixing it all and then using it for several days. Whereas this, you have to mix it every time we want to do some lime washing, which is fine. The method is also slightly different. So previously we were using putty and kind of watering it down. This time we're going to effectively slake Calviva or quicklime uh, with water. And then while it's still hot after it's slaked, uh, put it up on the walls. And so that apparently bonds better to the walls and you can put it on slightly thicker. So we'll see if that happens. So this is something that I didn't know anything about until we saw some of those comments. But apparently it is the traditional way of lime washing, particularly the outside of buildings back in the UK, but not really something that was done here in Portugal. Lime wash very popular here. In fact, uh, we've heard stories from people about uh, like grandparents' houses where there was a big barrel of lime that was always kept topped up and they would use it for painting on trees, for insect protection and sun protection, but also for the houses as well. So lime wash, very, very traditional here in Portugal, but this hot method of of mixing it and applying it not so much so we'll see how we go but i like the idea of being less coats and therefore taking less time because we've got lots of other stuff to do okay so i have read many things about this and watched a couple of videos and the general concept is you put some water in a bucket you then sprinkle in and spoon in your quick lime and stir it and keep slowly adding and waiting and stirring and eventually a whoosh happens and a whoosh is a little bit like if you're making a white sauce or a bechamel sauce on the stove you add your thickener and you stir and then all of a sudden it starts getting really thick it's going to not do anything not do anything slowly heat up and then all of a sudden whoosh and that's when it's ready to go on the walls can I just say I really appreciate food references <laughs> for lime mixing <laughs> that's why I said it <laughs> <laughs> Do, do it again, I dare you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Okay. Have a bit more practice. Oh. Don't need to. Mm. Not so. I don't know if I know that. So this is an old bag of lime that we've had for some time, not entirely sure. Um, and what can happen to this uh, quick lime over time, particularly in a humid environment, is it starts to absorb moisture from the air and it starts to hydrate. And so then it's not as reactive with water. And so I think we're going to go and get a fresh bag and see if we get a more vigorous reaction. Nothing's happening. There's a little bit happening, but the bucket is definitely very hot, hotter, but there's no bubbles that I would expect to see. No whoosh. No whoosh.
That went whoosh. That <laughs> went whoosh. <laughs> we were too impatient. Yeah. Needs more water though. Needs it's more very water. thick. So that didn't go exactly to plan, but I think we've rescued it. So we just added some more water and mixed it, and this is what it looks like now. It's kind of doesn't drip like a paint does, but it creates peaks, I guess. You can kind of... I mean, it looks delicious. <laughs> I would not advise eating this. When you put your paintbrush in, the paintbrush shouldn't drip. So this is quite thick on there because I haven't put it onto a wall, but I think that's the consistency we're looking for, like soft serve ice cream. Yeah, very kind of Greek yogurty, yeah. meringue delicious. And so, well, this wasn't exactly how I've seen it done on video with the explosion and all. Um, I think this is still going to work, so we're going to put this on the wall. If we run out of this, then we can try it again and see if we can get it more like how I've seen it being done before. Mm. Because we're not going to waste this. And we're going to do it in an area which is going to be covered by a... Exactly, so if it's not right, cupboard. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think the idea is just that you can put it on thicker. Ah. So they say is that you can spread it around easier. I don't know if that's really true. <laughs> it's it's kind of like my tea. Mm. Interesting. It's still very warm. Mm. Like, um, well, it's, it's actually going on very smoothly yeah. compared to what I was expecting after seeing this thick bucket of putty like stuff. Yeah, it actually goes on really nicely. I mean, it's much faster than the other stuff. Yeah, it this, spreads this, easier. yeah, it spreads really nicely, even on the bits down here that I'm experimented with that don't have any that I didn't spray down. Do you see a lot of lines though? Yeah, so. I think you're still going to need three coats minimum though, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. So what do you think? That's a lot better. I'll be interested to see if it changes much overnight. I think it will get lighter. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure that this whole just two coats thing. <laughs> I guess we'll see also after another coat goes on. But even if it's three coats, it's still half the amount of time of the other stuff. It's definitely whiter already. Then we'll see. So, what are your thoughts? It looks horrible. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> it's it's really patchy 
really white in some places and you can see all the brush marks and other sections where it feels like nothing has gone on. Yeah, it doesn't look too different from the just pure plaster, which no, is very I mean, odd. It, it does, because when I look at this, I can see a difference, but it does not look like a painted wall that only needs one more coat, that's for sure. So I have a couple of suspicions. Number one, our slaking didn't go very well. And I think that was because we didn't put enough water in, we didn't wait long enough and stir it constantly. So that is number one. And number two, I think we put it on way too thick. Like it needs to be more like a paint-like consistency rather than putty-like consistency. And then I was a bit worried that maybe we were putting it on too soon after plastering. So I went and did some research on that. But no, you should put it on as quickly as you can. So that's fine. Um, or as soon after the plastering as possible. Yeah, to, to help it bond and then not get dusty. And to be fair, the other rooms that we've done, which we did with a putty based, which was still slaked ourselves, um, isn't dusty at all. So I, I was here all the time people complaining about lime wash being dusty. Um, we don't... Oh, you have, mean like coming off on your clothes yeah, and your skin and stuff? we've no, not seen that. And maybe that's because we have hot slaked all of our lime and then used it, even though we've used it a long time later. And maybe people are talking about the more commercial lime washes. Anyway, so we're going to do our slaking again and I think we're going to do a much better job this time and we're going to make sure it has enough water and we're going to make sure that we get it the right consistency and hopefully we can rescue this because it's... Well, uh, we can rescue this. Yeah, we, I mean... It's just going to take another two coats. Yeah. I did scoop for. I'm going to just soak it so it goes on top. Okay. And you can stir it at the same time. Right? And then, yeah. yeah. Oh, calm and patience. Okay, one more. I think this is four. Four, four, four. Can definitely see some steam. Yeah. I don't know if it comes across on camera though. And it looks much more like paint still. Yeah. There we go. There it goes. Yeah. Definitely see much more steam. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. And it looks more like a yogurt now, or a thick cream. Yeah. The last time. It's become a, a real... So it almost is like you need to keep the heat in it at this point, but then we might need to wet it down a bit to exactly. get to the right consistency. Yep. That's more like it, isn't it?
Yeah, so yeah. not dripping, but but more paint like. More paint like, not as much putty like. Yeah. So this is looking a lot more promising. Let's stick it on the wall and see what it's like when it dries. Yeah, that's much more like paint. Okay, cool. I mean, it, it's still like invisible paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that the video said was we didn't really need to spray down. Uh, it's very cold here at the moment, it's winter. Uh, I think it's seven degrees, 10 degrees or something inside. It's not gonna dry too fast. Uh, we're not gonna have any issues. The walls were just recently plastered, so they're not gonna suck in too much moisture. And it also gives us more working time, so now I can go back over it. The other thing that we could do, that we might do, we'll see, is go over it either with a trowel or with a brush after it's semi-dried to burnish it, mm -hmm. that's the word. Um, smooth it out, basically. Smooth it out, so that we don't get any brush marks. Brush marks yeah. Cool, well, it looks promising. Let's um, see if we can get this wall done and then we'll have a better idea of what it's really like. You don't look much happier than you were yesterday. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> I had hoped we'd be done, but no. Can you explain how many coats we've done on each wall? Because it may not have been clear from the time lapse. Oh uh, yeah, so we, we did a round and a half yesterday. So we just kept going around the room until we ran out of lime wash. So this wall has had two coats. This wall has had one coat. The other one has had one. And this big wall, the one that we started on has had one bad coat and two good coats. And bad coat meaning with the, the mistake lime wash that we first did. Um, so we're counting that as like two and a half. <laughs> but it's still really patchy, streaky, it's uneven. And I think some of the unevenness is to do with the lime plaster underneath still drying and so the difference in dryness. And so that, that we can account for, that's fine. But there's lots of streaks um, and that's either the, the lime wash was too thick and we didn't move it around a bit, but it's everywhere. So yeah, I'm not too sure. We're not happy. So we're going to do another one because we can't leave it like this. 
But everyone says, yeah, hot loam wash, you only need to do two or three coats. I'm not convinced that this is going to be fixed in one more coat because this one has had two and a half and it's also not looking very good. We may also need to give it time to carbonate properly yeah. and harden up. Which we can, but we'll, so we'll do a third coat and then we're going to let it sit for a week or so and then have past final judgment on it. Yeah, it just makes the wall look unfinished. Well, it's not finished. Yeah. We are but, not finished. We're going to do it again. Yeah. So let's get on and do it again. Okay, we are back after a couple of days of drying time and it's time to wrap this up because we are going to be leaving this project for now and the results are a little bit inconclusive and our feelings are a little bit mixed. But let's show you what we've got and uh, give you some final thoughts on this whole hot mix lime wash thing. It looks better, right? It's definitely less patchy, less streaky and less unfinished. But still patchy and still streaky. Yeah. Just less. <laughs> it's more consistent. There's more consistently patchy white coverage. Yeah, definitely. Than previously. And our hope is that as the plaster underneath dries, it will all go white and all blend. What we'll probably do is if that doesn't happen, is come back and give it another coat at some point in the future when we have units in and just do the parts that are still exposed because we have a lot of units and things going in here and we don't need to paint behind them again so yeah it might be another final decorating phase sometime in the future yeah so our working theory at the moment is that the reason it still looks a little bit patchy and streaky is because the plaster underneath is still drying the lime wash on top is pretty much dry because it's been a couple of days since we were in here doing the third coat. And so some bits are drier than others and therefore look whiter than others. And I think that's what's leading to the patchiness. I mean, we have successfully lime washed other rooms, so we know that we can get a nice, consistent, solid, flat, white finish, but we don't have that in here yet. So it's either more drying time or maybe another coat. And so I think we need to address the elephant in the room, which is what everybody says about hot lime wash and whether it is true or not, based on our experience. At the moment, I would say it's hogwash. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, some people swear by you just need two coats and done. Well, maybe they are happy with two coats and done. I would not be if this is the result. And maybe for internal, you want that higher quality finish, so yeah. more coats. They say for internal as well. Some people say three, but even three. Time will tell if this proves out, but we did lime washing in the bathroom at the same wall dryness, i.e. they were pretty wet, and didn't have this same patchiness. So admittedly we had to do five coats in there. But the jury's out on whether or not hot lime washing is any better than putty washing. One thing that we cannot deny is this method of mixing your own lime wash is incredibly cost effective compared to buying a lime wash off the shelf. We actually did a couple of calculations on how much we use to do the three coats in this room. And this room is probably about 40 square meters of wall. I think we spent maybe two euro 50 on raw material plus a bit of water. But for the same coverage of a commercial lime wash paint, we did the math on it and it would be like 500 euros in tins of paint, which is just bonkers. So if you wanna do like natural paint, mix your own lime wash. You can put colors into it as well, although we're just using it white. Um, but yeah, much more cost effective than uh, the stuff that you can buy. And we've had quite a few people suggest that we use Distemper, which is a clay and lime product. So I Googled that to see what it would cost to get 10 liters, and that's more or less what we use. No, more or less one. We've used 20 liters. We've used 20 years. So a 10 liter tin was gonna cost 330 euros. So that would be 660 euros for us to do this room with distemper. So we're gonna stick with the uh, mixing it ourselves version. And it's widely available. Yeah, we can pick this up at our farm shop, like, and the whole bag of Calviva is like five, five six. Five or six, yeah. 
Um, and then we can use it for many different things. So yeah, uh, it's kind of a no brainer for us. So there you go. The jury is still out on some of the benefits of hot lime wash. Uh, I think time will tell. And of course, we'll keep you updated in future videos because we have a lot more of this to do. Uh, but that is it for this one. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.